when a customer buys a car, they're focused on the price, right? Okay, that's because customers really don't know what they're doing. All right, I don't care how much research they do, they're not very good at buying cars and trucks. Why aren't they very good at it? Because they don't, you know, they're not in the business. They don't, they don't do it very often. They don't do it very often. I buy a lot of cars, and I have, and I'm really old, so I've been buying cars for a long time. And I'm going to guess that in 12, in the 54 years that I've been buying cars, I probably only bought 20, maybe 22, 23. And again, I buy a lot of cars. Right. Most people don't buy 10 or 15 cars in their entire lifetime. Right. So what, what happens is they wake up this morning, okay, and boom, they're in the mood for, they either need or want a vehicle. What do they, what do, they do? Get online. Get online, mm -hmm. okay? And they start doing all their research. Mm -hmm. And they blow in here thinking they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Do they? Yeah. No, they are amateurs. And again, I'm not running down customers. I've, I've, I've spent 42 years selling cars to people. Most of them were probably smarter than I was, okay? So they're not stupid, don't get me wrong. Right. But uh, like you said, they're not in the business. I mean, if I buy a car every three years, well, how many people a month do you talk to about, uh, about buying a car? Just 50? 50 okay, so in a three year period of time, you will have been in 1,800 car conversations right. with people, and I have only done, I haven't been in one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're the professional. You're the professional. The customer is the amateur. Doesn't make them bad people, don't get me wrong. They're the goal that we all live by. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to know. They're, they don't understand why. Yeah, look, the total cost of a car is a three part equation what I pay today, my cost of ownership, and what I get for it when I trade or sell it. Right? Mm -hmm. And the more I get for it when I trade or sell it, the better deal I've gotten, correct? Right. That's what Resist All does. Okay? Now, is it going to, I mean, if they do, if they take it for a year and they don't extend it, um, it's probably going to help a bit. But if they, if, if nobody puts anything on that paint, I mean, look, we're in the South here. Does it get hot? Yes. So we got loss of gloss. Um, is there such a thing as acid rain out there? Absolutely. Yes. Tree sap, bird droppings, bugs and stuff. I mean, it's amazing how damaged paint can... By the way, how long is the uh, Honda paint warranty? The Honda paint? Honda paint warranty. You mean like for like corrosion and stuff? Not corrosion, just loss of gloss. That I don't know. There is a one. Yeah. There is a one. Okay, the manufacturers don't warranty the paint. Mm -hmm. Mercedes Benz doesn't warranty the paint. Okay, corrosion, yeah, they warranty that. So the customer doesn't understand this. You know, when they go on to KBB to find out what their car is worth, KBB doesn't have a loss of gloss button, do they? No. Um, acid rain button, no. <laughs> Tree sap button, no. Mm -hmm. So you got to help the customer understand the value of what we're offering them. Mm 